Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Sailor Plans. My name is Jessica, thank you so much for joining me here today. And today I am going to be participating in my first ever YouTube collab video. So if you are interested in watching, Stay tuned. So I want to start off by saying that this YouTube collab, there will be several of us participating and the theme is pumpkins. <laughs> I live and travel full time on a sailboat, you guys. So some of you may not know as you might be like new viewers, but I probably would have done a, you know, pumpkin patch vlog, but because I currently live in Panama abroad, there is no pumpkin patch near me. So I'm going to be doing a pumpkin themed plan with me using Caitlin plans, candy corns and candy corn pumpkins. Um, so yeah, let's get into this. I do have some spreads that have been pre-planned like super in advance. So I'm going to be doing, I hope this is okay, but I'm going to be creating a spread for this week in November. I'm going to go ahead and cut these off camera just because I think it's a little bit boring, but I'll be right back. All right, and just like that, I'm back. I have all of these cut out, but I'm just going to keep them off to the side. And um, I don't really have a vision for this. I could have done like a pumpkin patch type spread, but I do want to just keep this simple in case you are watching the entire loop. Whoever you start with first, from the loop, you know you will have completed watching the entire loop if you reach back to them. So if you start with me and then you watch everybody's videos that are a part of this pumpkin theme collab and you end with me, then that means you will have watched everybody that participated. And I will have everybody linked down below, just so you know. Okay, so I would love to have some garland. You know, I think it would look really cute. To have and some pumpkins of course my pages are a little bit smeared from ink from having previously printed stuff all of these are on sticker paper that I've printed I also have this sticker book from live love posh this set right here with the candy corn I think is really cute maybe maybe I should do some purple and orange and use some candy corn sprinkled i'm going to try to imitate this with what i have and i do just want to primarily focus on using the pumpkins in this spread because it is pumpkins theme i'm going to put this off to the side for now i have a lot of stickers on my hands hmm this could go like this or it could go like this. Yeah, we'll go with that. And then the candy corn I can sprinkle like throughout like this. Okay, I can't find my tweezers at the moment. So I'm just going to have to use this, my X-Acto knife to peel these off. This is sticker paper. I hand cut these all by myself and i don't always print on sticker paper that's cute so far i would like some purple over here now that i'm starting to mix some purple so i could do something like this and i can do something like this as well okay let's move this off to the side real quick and then pick out some boxes here just shortly i'm just putting this down and because um i, don't, I haven't said this disclaimer in a while but because i feel like there might be some new watchers um I, like I said, I do live on a sailboat, so my environment is going to be moving and there isn't anything that I can do about it. There's also probably a humming and noises from the boat that I can't really do much about in all honesty. I'm working on top of my freezer actually. <laughs> So there's just a natural humming from that that I cannot avoid. It's not, 
you know, somebody in the background. It's just the freezer. I do want to use some of these rounded boxes though because we have some some like roundness going on with the pumpkins. So I thought that would be really cool to incorporate. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Lay this sticker down. Okay, and then lift this one. This is coming out pretty cute in my opinion. Maybe I'll just do like candy border, just like around. Okay, let's see about some other rounded boxes. I might bring in some brown because the pumpkin stems have brown in as well. And also to avoid it looking kind of monochromatic. But I do want to add some circular type you know okay so I found some more of these I could cut this off that says noted if I want to let's see what it looks like without it being cut maybe I don't mind it as much so I'm just gonna stick this down right here I don't know why and I might as well put this down as well so all I'm gonna do is not cut myself and I'm just going to peel the back of this sticker like that. I do like the way that this pumpkin sits like this. I do already see that I need to add more purple boxes. Maybe I'll do purple, brown, and orange. We'll see how it comes out. I have some washi as well. I have this kind of washi from Live Love Posh. I think would look really cute, but that's a lot of orange in my opinion. So maybe I won't bring that in, but I did have some washi prepared. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and add this quote that says sweet tooth. I feel like I could put a cute little quote there like this right here. I could even try to layer it maybe or not. I could just leave it like this. Oh, that's so cute already. I could do a purple checklist or a brown checklist. Let's see, bringing this in. I know there were like little, so there's checklists here. Okay, right here, there's some checklists. I'll do this purple checklist. Move this off to the side could do a purple checklist right here. Okay, so back in here, I'll go ahead and take this one out, this pumpkin. And I know that she has like checklists and stuff back here too. I'll go ahead and move these over to the side. I'm telling you, I'm working on a very, very tiny limited space here but I was thinking of adding this like this this trick-or-treat whatever this is called over here and then I can go ahead and cut this well I'll take it off the page so that way it would be easier to cut like this and then now this planner um, for those of you that are new to my channel I have only two planners okay so this one is my happy planner and I do primarily use this more like a to-do list type planner so it is a little bit more functional for me on the simpler side versus my Erin Condren planner. That one is for memory keeping and it's like my a little bit more closer to my heart than this to-do list planner. This is slightly time consuming but not nearly as bad I think uh, taking the backing off of this. I'm actually this is the like the first time I tried doing this honestly like using sticker paper. 
I thought it would be easiest on me. Okay, I decided to reuse the scraps that I cut from here and just place it here at the bottom like this. And then continue with this over here. Kind of want to make it look like it's been sprinkled. Let's get some boxes over here. I did pull, okay, I pulled some pastel boxes and I'm thinking about using, oh, she doesn't have a lined. Huh, okay, that's okay. I'll do a big purple box, this one right here. I'll put this stuff away so I, it doesn't overwhelm you. Although I don't really have much room for putting things away. But um, here we go. I don't like that this is purple and purple though. So I might change that. Or I could, instead of use a big box, I could just do this orange right here. And then this could sit right here maybe. Hmm. I feel like this is too big. So I could do like a little one. Let's see how that would look and I'll trim it. I'm going to do like a sideways thing like this. That's cute. Okay, let's get some purple. I'm going to put this back and grab some purple. All right, I'm going to move this again and do something like this. That's cute. And then this could go in this corner, this scrap. And then I could do this quote here, but then there's like quote and quote in the center. And so what if I did it down here? because this is looking plain. Okay, what do you think? Does that look better here or here? Maybe I should move this. All right, so let's see about an orange box like this one. Like that, that's cute, I think. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this quote down here. And because it's on sticker paper, it's okay if I change my mind because normally I would tape these down and like it would, I would be mega indecisive about that. This is cute too, like this. So this is helping me be a little bit more decisive because I know it's on sticker paper. I, I could just, you know, remove it if I don't like it and then try elsewhere. Nice like that. I wish there was like purple candies, like these have like purple wormies, the gummies. Oh, I would love some gummies, some purple gummies, little wormies right now. I sure am a sucker for candy. Mm -hmm. I never use these headers, but I'm thinking about using them. So I'll do some yellow headers like to do maybe this one all the way here to do and then tasks so instead of brown i guess i'm going to be using this yellow we'll do tasks there to do here all right and then i'll do some more candy corns like that this is looking really cute so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these off and commit. I do have some commitment issues sometimes. There we go. This is already my Thanksgiving spread. That's how far I pre-decorated. But because I'm a part of two PR groups and I only have two planners, I do kind of have to make things work like I don't want to just make fake spreads to promote like I do want to genuinely use 
my stickers in my planners so it's okay if like we're in November and it's already kind of like you know it's not Halloween anymore and so it's fine for me if it's not like within season because I at least get to use the stickers. I don't I think it's safe to say that I will not be using this garland so I'll put that off to the side. I do have a lot more pumpkins than I intend to use and they're a little bit too big. So let's try to use some of these scraps. Where? I'm not sure. Let's do some up here. Some more scraps. Maybe right here. Like that. I would really love to know where you all are from. If you can comment down below where you're from or where you grew up. Since um, maybe some of you are joining me here for the first time, I'll go ahead and I will start. So I am, I, I've actually never really talked about this on my channel, but I say I'm from Pennsylvania, but I was born in New York, New York City. I only lived in New York City for like the first three years of my life. And then my family moved to Pennsylvania when I was three. What do you think? Should I cut this off or should I leave it? Hmm. I'll cut it off for now like this and see what what this looks like okay that looks cute and I do want to focus on sprinkling more candy corns and all of that let's put this scrap up here cute okay and then um so as I was saying I lived in Pennsylvania basically my entire life I then moved to Florida and lived there. I lived one year in Central Florida and then like seven or eight years in South Florida. Um, yes, I lived in Miami. It's not, it's not that great. <laughs> I'm a, I come from a very small town in Pennsylvania. So I always thought I wanted to live in a large city, but it turns out I do not. I do not like city life. Traffic is horrible and it's it's not that fun. No, but the sceneries were gorgeous. Of course, can't complain with Miami scenes. There we go. But I did make some pretty amazing friends in Florida, in South Florida especially, and I do miss them. But I am on this grand adventure the sailing adventure. The dream is to hopefully go around the world as long as we have sufficient funds or I guess we do it until we don't uh, have any more <laughs> funds to do it. I do not work at all. That might change soon. Might try to find like an online job. I'm gonna trim this. I'm gonna do that off camera though. Okay, and then I have some of these scraps to use now. I really do wish I had my tweezers because that would make things so much easier. Put this here on the edge and then this over here on this edge. I could use a little bit of right there. Maybe I could do a little bit of this scrap. I am sailing with my husband, of course, and my small dog and very large cat. And we've been sailing since the beginning of January 2021. We moved onto this sailboat in December 2020. And honestly, the reason we moved to Florida was to go on this sailing adventure. It's always been my husband's dream to do it. I do say husband because <laughs> sailing was never part of my dream. Actually, my dream is to own a farm and live off the land. So those dreams couldn't be any more opposite from each other. But I saw how passionate he was about this. I mean, he has been 
researching about sailing for so long. So who am I to kill my husband's dream, you know? And I always did want to travel. This is a really much more affordable way of traveling than to like fly via plane. And then like you can take all your stuff with you, right? Like you on a boat anyhow, not on a plane like that. I think we're almost done, honestly. I just want to use up as much candy corn as possible. Sorry, there was cat fur. Story of my life. I think I'm going to try to use this scrap here and put it upside down. I know there's like pumpkin here and like it's all on the same column. Or maybe I can just do like tasks here or tasks down there and then put the pumpkin here. Let's see how that looks like. Does that look strange with an upside down pumpkin? I'm going to do it because it's really not that serious, you know, but I'll cut this little bit off and then I'll put this upside down pumpkin up here just because I really want to use up as much stuff as possible. And then I'll use this scrap down here. Hmm, I might need like a box here or you know what? Let's do some circles. But first, let me trim the borders again off camera. Okay, and then just adding more scraps. Okay, I think I'm going to do this colored box down here just because I feel like it might need it. Down here and then maybe another like thin box up here like one of these and maybe like an orange one over here there we go okay almost there it would be nice to have another tasks list over here okay so while the camera cooled off a little bit because it overheats and I'm afraid sometimes the file might be corrupted I went ahead and peeled these so I'm just going to put them randomly throughout the page like this put a cute little candy corn there and maybe another one like this I think that's cute so far and I could do another one up here I just want to make sure the page is nicely filled like this okay and then I'm going to trim this of course okay so I'm thinking about adding more circles this is basically complete but I think this is too much orange. I do like it, but it might be too much orange. So I was thinking of adding some more purple, like this is a pretty purple here. Like that, and then that'll be the only box of that kind. So now I'm thinking about some purple circles just to add a little bit more pizzazz I think that would be fun up here I'm gonna cut that in half and just add purple circle up here okay just like this and hmm I could add like an orange circle Oh, maybe it could just be like that. Does that look weird? I don't know. I kind of like it though. I think that's it, you guys. I don't want to go like too crazy. I did just say it was like, you know, supposed to be simple. I do have these extra pumpkins, but they're just too big to fit anywhere else. And I really like the theme and the colors as it is. I do like the pops of purple 
and i think this is it you guys i hope that you enjoyed this video and that you learned a little bit about me i would love to learn more about you in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this video pretty please give this video a thumbs up and if you aren't already please subscribe it is free for you and me and i do hope to catch you all in the next one bon voyage